Yo, what's up? See him green, this bitch. I was asked by a member who's been here for quite some time, shout out Pickles Clock, to give him insight to behemoth fights. I was like, all right, bro. So a lot of people will have different opinions. There's the straightforward, obvious, and then there's the what the fuck when I saw my friend Pickles team, and then there's like... Uh, big brain comps, which is what I come up with. My man Zeldris is pretty much the answer. I don't even have UR on him. I don't even have all his gear done. For shame. But when I go into Behemoth, I do Extreme in Hell. I'm hitting for like 356k, I believe it was. I've seen 87 on silver and gold cards. Like. 186, 230k on bronze. That's a lot. It's a lot. You get a lot of debuffs. <laughs> so I like to stack that with this bitch. I said this before. I'm probably the only one that ever called this out, but I said this bitch was meant for the future. Something no one even knew about. It was just obvious that she wasn't meant for the game at this time. And uh, I was right, so fuck all the other streamers because I'm the one that put that out there. Fuck what they think. Um, I, I've been I've been building her since she came out. I mean, she's a lot of fun to use. I just need one more. It's not bad. Yeah, and she's slapping up like 186k, 156k, two on silver and gold. Sometimes 230, and she's not done. It's just, you know, it's all time consuming. Yeah, that's the wall comp. I'm hitting those numbers on Behemoth. Extreme Hell on the wall comp. The wall comp is, uh, was created by me, CM Green. It's a resistance comp. It's also good for CC buff and build. It's the second to best of the HP defense. But if you don't want to take zero damage, I mean, you know... It depends on what the unit's used for. You can't use that on everyone, obviously, but... I'm the creator of the wall comp. You're welcome. It's for everyone who's ever used it and understands it. I'm the one that created it. This was my idea. No other streamer was doing it. They are like, attack defense, attack crit. I was like, yeah, well, wall comp, but no one cared. Alright, so you got that, alright? Um, this is a good one. This is an obvious, I would think. You could do that. And you mix that with the cleanse, right? You, you you basically need a cleansing team. For me, this is how I like it. I'm just throwing out the units. I'm going to describe my strategy, what I look for in a match. Uh, this is the obvious. My dude was level 60. He was 6'6", I believe, but level 60, so I never built him. I, slow, I, I said I had to build him, but I can out, out damage this guy with my Zeldris. Uh, I've seen other people in, you know, in hell, and I out damage them with their, their shit, so my Zeldris is better just as he is, um, I like to see her on the opposite end on my, you know, when I'm in the match, because if they do that when I rank up, and then I do the go Gother buff, we basically one shot him, and then if I get a gold buff, it's over, basically we, we've, we've already won, um, so, not my team, I don't run it, but if the other team has a cleanser, I play the attacking DPS, they have one cleanse, DPS, you could argue I need a cleanse, but it's not necessary, you only need one person with cleanse, so you just try to find a cleansing friend, that's what I would argue, uh, you need, um, I was running her just, just to have a patsy, but this does work, it's very good, okay, there's a lot of healing going on that can save your ass, quite often, and I've seen her put up like 526k on ult, and she's in, and she, she can tank, and she's in some shitty ass gear, <laughs> yeah, she's still putting up big shit, um, that's what I love about it, like, people knocking me, but, it's like zero investment, I'm putting up fat numbers, uh, I haven't tried Green Joel, but I thought of it, I've seen a lot of, you know, you, you know the obvious at this point, Eskinor, he's a great option, um, I haven't tested her, but I'm, I'm feeling like she might do big things in there too. 
As people die, she could be the standalone lone warrior, but I want her at 90 before I test it. Uh, some more obvious options. I thought about Shield Deanne Taunt. Old Green Deanne here. I thought, you know, I thought she would work. Little red panties. What's going on there? But, um, I haven't tested her yet. I've seen someone try to use this Green Merlin. That was dumb. I'm like, why would you use Green Merlin in the four slot? What a waste. Uh, green Gother is obvious. So for me, I do Green Gother, uh, Green Zelgis, old pink haired Liz. And I run, um, in the fourth, I do Death Pierce. So you have the four race. And Death Pierce helps put out the extra damage. If you can just keep everyone alive and have your friend as a healer, preferably have them heal. Don't join if they're a DPS squad. Just leave that shit. But if they're, like, the best team I've seen that I like to work with will have her. Uh, this guy. And then, I don't know. I've seen a lot of different variations. But if you could do that and then get the cleanse buff off right. Cleanse instantly. And then cleanse with her. Get that. Attack plus 40. And then you could still DPS with Zeldris or this guy with Death Pierce. You know what I mean? There's, there's ways to go about it. I personally like the rank up effect, you know, in alt rush, but that's just me. That's just my play style. There's a lot of ways to go about it. Um, so that's my, my, my best advice to you, bro. I'll show you what I run. I'll show everyone what I run. So this is what I run in red. Oh yeah. Margaret's got to go. She's in the way actually. Uh, I can one shot Hell Gray with my with my Lolly Mur. It's just the way it goes. I like this team a lot actually. It's very good. If there was another good green unknown, I'd I'd stuff it in there, but you know, for now this is the best I've come up with. It's my gray. Ray's uh, uh I'm all Ray. R Red's still flexible. I I'm really tired. I let my wife sleep in today. My hell is tired. My bad pickles. So, I like this one, but I think leaving Bon out isn't bad, but I don't have mine really built, so I start investing in him, uh, to make him better, and now to answer Pickles. So, th this is what I said I run, and there it is. There's still lots of room of improvement. Uh, Death Pierce could be UR'd, you know, but I feel this is the best that I can conjure up, personally, um... I look at Green Gothers defense without us without the fucking Tam on there, and it works pretty much anywhere you go. I could probably like boost my support cards. Yeah, I could. So I mean, I'll probably just remove that and then throw in what? Throw that in there. And what else? I think I only have three SSR cards. Sadly. I could have swore I had another SSR. I forgot what it was. Well, hmm, maybe I didn't. Anyways, that would be better. I'm pretty sure I have one more SSR. I just don't know where it is. Uh, hold on. That was my friendly match. It's fucked up. <laughs> So let's be friends. All right, watch this. Ready for this? There's an ultimate elite PvP team. I'm going to show it to everyone now. I've been waiting to hide this for a while. Uh, it's going to require green. Two greens now. One of them's a new unit. Where is she? I haven't got her cosmetics yet, so. And the other one is also a green, who's always been a big pimp about things. Someone spent like a thousand dollars to get this guy. Like super pimped out. I was like, man, dude, I didn't spend anything and got him six six. 
All right, so the fourth unit is flexible. I'll leave that to your discretion, but these three together are gonna create some fucked up shit. Some really fucked up shit. Plus I use it as another team alternative building slot. Um, oh, these are my brawl teams, I gotta save them. It's been a while since I updated them. There's been a lot of work. And then I'll just show my teams overall. Evil 420. I find that the counter is super resourceful, even against people with like all the odds in their favor. You know, that, that fucking Chandler is a, a mean son of a bitch. Counter is always resourceful, and that's the best counter given to us so far in the game. Uh, I only have one copy of Old Boy next to Chandler to the right, but it, it's so good you don't want him to get stunned, and obviously Sar helps do DP. You could do red or green in the back. I prefer green because there's a lot of uh, debuffing these days. 420 peeps. I feel like homegirl, you know what I mean, is like sitting there with Sariel as a green Sariel buffed by Sariel, but she's pretty powerful in my opinion. It's extremely powerful. And then obviously Arthur for control, turn control. I like that. Endless, endless defense. Surprisingly, Bond has more defense. It's probably because of that wall comp I put on Ludo. And then, uh, you know, Red Easton does big things for everyone. This is still my favorite team in the game. It's so broken. I mean, there's, there's so much more I can do with her. It's disgusting on gear that this team is just going to keep being pushed into the future. Uh, these are not my best teams. I have plenty other teams that reach 250, some 260. It's just my favorite teams that I want to work on are the hardest ones. And I always keep them up on the forefront. This is my new farm team. It's funny, but Sariel's a farming unit. And there's so much going on. Crazy thing, craziest thing you'll ever see is... It's like 356k on a bronze from that Margaret. I'm like, god damn. Look at Ludo buffing Ludo. <laughs> right? Oh no, that is the Ludo buff. Never mind. I was you can't put Ludo on 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 an angel. I'm all, what are you smoking, Sam Green? This is the future of the game. This is where you want to start building your shit now. So I've abandoned. A lot of things to double back to this. I'm only going to do a few loose ends on the demon and angel. And then I have to start working at this immediately. And then decide which pieces of this pie are going to get replaced with when that new Gother drops. I, I plan to max Gother if RNG is sexy. We'll see. I'm going to go big. I was going to go big, but I decided to stop. Just going to get a, a, a pity dupe um, on the current banner. Not for Deanne, obviously. And I'm going to uh, then kick back on that, get the cosmetic for Deanne, obviously, and then I have to start working at this team for Gother, like, like now. This is extremely powerful as well. It doesn't look like it. There's a lot going on secretly, passively. But I'm gonna get into that when I get Gother. That's just a that's a project. Like people are like, oh, you haven't built your Blue King, and I barely started investing in any of these units except for. Uh, Merry Christmas, Elaine, which is 6'6", six, six, by the way. Like, if you didn't 6'6", six, six, you're a fool, in my opinion. That pass is so dope. She does a lot, too. I would have wanted to do, uh, you know, this guy as well, 6'6", six, six, but it's just, you know, I've been making other moves in other plays financially, so I have to balance. And if an RNG's not good, I won't buy. Straight up. Like, if I put 400 gems in, I haven't got the unit by then, or 450, I'm just like, well, I might as well just get the pity and be patient. That's my, you know, it really depends. But Gother's one of those units where, like, I'll just drop a substantial amount and just swing for it, you know, swing, swing better, better. Um, and then I'll just show people real quick my box, Flex, you know what I mean? The G box of the CM Green. So there you go. A lot of red stars, a lot of shit going on. I know you see it. Some of these units I made so fucking powerful, even I'm just like, what, what are you thinking, bro? 
Like, I get a lot of shit for my Escanor. I don't think people understand how powerful Escanor really is. Don't even want to take credit for my good ideas either. If you saw it here, you saw it first, you, it was me. Everyone else likes to try to take my ideas and then pushes it outward inward, which is fucked up. Because I get zero credit when others steal my ideas. The bigger streamers take all the credit, all the clout, and all... I just be kicking back, like, whatever, dude. At least the thought of it. This is what I meant earlier, like, about mad... <laughs> mad words just pitch me slab at 156k sometimes. Just mad actually, you know what I mean? Wanna actually get her done. Get her done. see him green i think we're gonna have to kick some people in my night you just tell it's like the same group of people that you know pickles will will check in i'm sure he's doing whatever afk usually checks in a dre 362 you should check in it's like a different time zone david seemed to be pretty consistent these two didn't check in yesterday lucky and jakey babs so they'll probably be booted We'll see. We're, we'll just recruit others. Eventually, you fill the spots before other people fill it, you know, and waste people's time. I'm CM Green, home of the 420 counters. I gave up my alliance and MHA because CM Gold's a big fat sack of shit with all those other constituents. And uh, I was asked to make a video that helped. Where is he at? Probably one of my best members I've had. He's been here a while. He actually went out and bought an account, which you have to appreciate. Where is he at? Pickles Clock. He's at the bottom. Anyways. He went out and bought an account, so I respect that. You know what I mean? I really wish I had got that last dupe on her. She needs one. <laughs> if they ever come back, it will be easy. I heard through the grapevine, so you all know, start thinking about this, that there's going to be another slime collab. Great thing about the slime collab is that most of those units I already have maxed, or close to max, if I'm not mistaken, so. I went pretty hard on the slime. They were like, no, nah, I don't do the slime collab, and I was like, why? Oh, no, I didn't go pretty hard, I lied. I bought all their cosmetics, though. I have, I have every cosmetic you can buy in the game except current green DMs like like everything I'm seeing green and I play gotchas I'm gonna do some videos on my exos heroes later maybe show off my ice if you know the anime it was a it was a unit that was kind of like like this it was a collab unit and uh, Ice, you know, the Sword Princess was released, and I actually pulled one copy of her, so I'm pretty, I was pretty stoked about that. Anyways, I gotta go, I got laundry beeping crap to do, and um, see him green. Peace.